The deep muscles of the back work together to stabilize, move, and protect the spine. Let's take a quick look at some of the key players. First up, the long rotatores muscles, small but mighty stabilizers that connect one vertebra to another two levels above. They help rotate the spine and keep each vertebra aligned during movement. Next are the lateral intertransversarii lumborum, short muscles linking the sides of lumbar vertebra. They help you bend your trunk sideways and keep your lower back steady. When these muscles weaken or tighten unevenly, it can actually contribute to chronic lower back pain. Moving deeper, the multifidus muscles span two to four vertebra at a time, and they're key to spinal stability. They help extend and rotate your spine while keeping it aligned. In fact, studies show that multifidus atrophy is one of the most common findings in people with long-term low back pain. The longissimus thoracis is the largest part of the erector spinae, running up the middle of your back. It extends your spine, helps you bend sideways, and supports upright posture. It's also one of the muscles most often strained when lifting improperly or sitting with bad posture. Right next to it is the spinalis thoracis, the most medial of the erector spinae muscles. It straightens the spine and helps stabilize your thoracic region. When this muscle weakens, it can contribute to a hunched upper back, or what's called thoracic kyphosis. The iliocostalis lumborum runs from your pelvis to the lower ribs. It helps extend and side bend your lower spine, supporting posture during movement. It's a frequent source of mechanical lower back pain, especially in people who sit for long periods. Just above that is the iliocostalis thoracis, connecting the lower and upper ribs. It helps extend and stabilize your mid-back and ribs. This muscle often develops trigger points that can cause upper back or rib pain. Now let's look at the serratus posterior inferior, a thin muscle beneath the latissimus dorsi at the lower back. It helps pull the lower ribs downward during exhalation and stabilizes the rib cage. Finally, the serratus posterior superior, located just under the rhomboids, lifts the upper ribs during inhalation. Together, these deep back muscles form the foundation for posture, movement, and spinal stability.